Good day, everybody. Rob here at WesternPacificWeather.com. And it's currently around 1200 Queensland time. That's right about 02 Zulu for those of you worldwide here on the 3rd of February. 2011 and we continue to watch Cyclone Yasi here now well over land uh, Queensland at this time here uh, kind of speeding up as it's basically run out of moisture here it's kind of taken off a little bit faster here but uh, the point to note though is that it continues to be a very strong system current winds out of it uh, maxing out right around 50 gusting up to upwards of about 70 knots at this time, but uh, that continues to develop farther inland. And even uh, just noting, you have a uh, 64 knots of winds or greater extending 55 kilometers out from the core of the system, still over the several hundred kilometers inland. So it, it's one of the most powerful systems I've seen in a long time, especially the fact that it continues to produce these cyclone force winds well inland. Uh, definitely a historic storm for Queensland. Did make landfall uh, south of Cairns, north of fail here last night just after midnight winds at landfall right around 130 gust 160 knots I know there's uh, several different reports coming out I'm sure after the uh, damage is uh, tallied up here we'll have a more uh, accurate estimate of how fast these winds were being reported many weather stations once you start getting up winds that high they usually get knocked out for example just offshore here at Willis Island uh, when the radar was knocked out and the weather stations were knocked out there when the storm was just passing just to north here and they were reporting upwards of about 130 knot sustained winds when that happened. So this storm is still very potent. Uh, also showing you here the overall uh, time lapse on this system as it did make landfall. Very well developed eye here. Uh, overall eye wall, very strong. And also just knowing that it continues to pump in moisture here out from the Gulf here and out from the Coral Sea into the center of the system. And that's one of the reasons why it continues to have uh, the strength it does have here. Actually, this happens a lot back in the states over Florida. Then that's one reason why systems usually don't weaken as they cross the peninsula. There is because of this effect, where you still have moisture coming in from multiple angles here. And on that note, actually showing you here the water vapor imagery, just showing all the uh, moisture content in the air at this uh, particular time. Near the core, uh, good news, a lot of that vo water vapor it has uh, gone out, it's basically rainfall, but uh, still do have some dry air advection actually coming up from here, from the north into the center of the system. But you still have all this moisture coming here from the Gulf, the Coral Sea as well, having a lot of moisture being pumped in at this time. So out here in Townsville and even as far south as Brisbane, you're still seeing seeing some outer rain bands throughout this entire area as moisture continues to get pumped in. And especially on the west side of the peninsula here, you still have moisture getting pumped in from that side as well. So uh, still not out of the woods, even though we already passed landfall. I know a lot of people kind of let their guards down, but even the Bureau of Meteorology is still putting out that the system is very, very potent. As already noting, you still have cyclone force winds out there. Actually, a tropical storm force winds or greater, that's 34 knots or greater, still continues to extend far out from the core approximately 240 nautical miles in the southeast 140 in the northeast and 170 in the southwest from the center of this system so uh, that's basically showing some destructive force winds are still very potent out there even though it is well into the interior if you're in any of these smaller communities into the interior area you still need not to uh, not let your guard down just yet and here showing the satellite slash radar. I'm showing all of Australia because I want to know how much the system is just engulfing all of Queensland here and taking up and affecting the weather everywhere here. You notice that there's lack of moisture farther out here towards the west. So that's basically because all of that's getting sucked up in the storm. Even farther to the south, you still see all these uh, clouds here kind of rotating around the center of this system. So it's definitely the deepest system in, in all of the region and it's affecting everything out here right now. But uh, one thing I also do want to know on this picture, though, is that the overall precipitation extending all the way down here all the way to Brisbane, uh, just showing that the system does continue to produce that on flow. And here also showing an enhanced IR shot. The, do noting that the center of the system is getting that dry air vection into it, but there still is these rain bands getting fed by the uh, Coral Sea here and up no towards north or the Gulf of Carpentaria. Many of these rain bands still pose that tornadic threat, especially near the coast here. Uh, you still have that tornadic threat that's not complete over just yet. I, I know I mentioned this before, and it, it's still in effect. Uh, the, especially the threat near the coast, you still have onshore winds coming in here and some rain bands. So I know that the, the worst is over with but the threat's not just gone just yet
And also noting with the new high tide coming in this morning, especially locations down here around Townsville and to the south here, you're still going to have a second surge coming in. You can also note that winds are basically coming around this system just like this. So you still have the wind blowing across the waters here. And even though the system, the center of the system is still well inland, the overall broadness of this system is absolutely huge and continues to be absolutely huge. It's producing another surge here. So uh, not everybody's out of the woods here just yet everything still is uh, producing these surges high winds near the center of this system so uh, just noting especially here with the uh, this all this moisture coming in as I already noted that um, tornadic threat I would say in this entire area here you're possibly still gonna have a tornadic threat and even up here towards the north there's a possibility here as well I know uh, many of these areas here are much more remote but the, for the people that are there there still is that threat and also noting all these rain bands dropping a lot of precipitation out here I mean it, it, it's not measured in millimeters it's in centimeters it's just it's huge and the overall broadness of the system is remarkable I know that many people realize that this is a record-breaking storm by uh, many means uh, one of the strongest storms in nearly a hundred years out here and almost in recorded history down here in Queensland so uh, it's gonna be one to uh, one to remember at this time and here's the most recent warning from the Bureau of Meteorology as already noting that 64 knot wind radius here uh, is still extending out from the center of the system so even though you are farther inland here you still have that very destructive winds right around your core and even farther out to the, the west here you're still going to be seeing these destructive winds here so uh, that's really what I got for right now as far as what is going on right at this time where is this system going to be going well this is actually showing here by this Thursday in the evening uh, all the way out towards the Northern Territory the system will continue to drift gradually weakening while it do so and the more it gets away from the water especially the Gulf here and the Coral Sea the faster it's going to weaken but the faster it's going to go likely here as it gets farther away from those moisture sources uh, believe it or not a lot of weather systems when they get away from uh, conditions they like they actually speed up for example when you have a strong low move over a warm area of water sometimes it actually tends to slow down because it likes that water. I know that sounds kind of ridiculous into thinking that these weather systems have brains, but uh, sometimes it actually kind of feels like that. And here showing you from the GFS actually 24 hours after that here on a Saturday, the evening of Saturday into Sunday morning, the system, the remnants will be all the way out here towards the uh, Western Territory uh, basically running north of this area of high pressure to the south here and also another area of high pressure just off of Perth all the way down here to the uh, roaring 40s here so uh, that's really what's going to be going on right now is basically going to start making a beeline out towards the west and eventually dropping some precipitation out here on the Western Territory and even as far west as Darwin could see some precipitation out of this not to the effects of where Queensland has seen it but just noting that even as far west as Darwin could see some remnant precipitation from uh, tropical cyclone Yasi here. And zooming out here, uh, showing all of the uh, South Pack here for the most part, all the way out towards uh, Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands here. I do want to show this only because I know a lot of people have asking about the area of convection out here and are asking, is this going to develop in something else? Well, at this time, don't worry about it. Uh, the models really are not picking up on it too much, maybe in the long range. But as you know, uh, farther out with these models, the less uh, accurate they tend to get. But right now, this area out here is very unstable. The convection's all sheared off. Actually, look looking at this uh, chart right here showing about 20 to 30 knots of wind shear out here over this area of convection so very unfavorable conditions out there at this time for this to develop into anything uh, significant and ending here with the most recent visible satellite imagery showing uh, no real tight uh, eye wall in there anymore. You have a lot of this dry air evection to the south as I've been noting actually you can see through some of the sky in some of these areas. But these rain bands here along the northern periphery extending all and wrapping all the way around here is definitely where the highest amount of this, uh, precipitation and those higher winds are going to be located at this time. But that's all I got for now. Uh, thank you everybody that continues to send in messages and uh, send links and in providing information. I think that's one of the best things about this day and age. If you look around YouTube here, there's uh, plenty of just regular people that are just sending in their videos about damage and uh, reports from their local areas. I, I encourage everybody to do that if you do have the means. Uh, just getting the information out there and just passing it along is always, uh, it's always a great deal, and especially spreading your word out through the, the world here. And also another thing I want to do note is that this year is going to be one of those years of this great forecasting and great handling by government officials. Uh, noting that Bagasa and the Philippines back in uh, November dealt with Maggie incredibly awesome. They evacuated 
evacuate all the areas. Well, just comparing that now to the Bureau and the uh, Australian government down here handled this storm awesomely. Uh, right now, no reports of uh, any serious injuries or deaths. Um, that is as of this time. I really want to stress it at this time. Still some very remote areas that have not reported in at all. So uh, hopefully hopefully and hope to god that uh that no damage reports or no uh no deaths or casualties come from that still plenty of damage reports but uh thank you everybody though that continues to uh bring in those updates and i'll have another update this evening uh going to start uh recapping on the storm looking out now so i know if you're watching this from the north pack i've been neglecting you guys up there recently so i'm gonna have another update soon uh, about some uh, another code search coming up around, and it's pretty soon as well here so uh thank you everybody for listening and that's all bye